Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we are taking a look at Roomba. Actually, this is a quick update to this tool as we've talked about Roomba in previous videos. So we did a walkthrough about Roomba. We talked about it when it was just announced and it's very interesting to see that you have a tool that you can actually manipulate and work with in a much more non-destructive fashion. So the folks at Mercenaries Engineering, the very same creators of the Gorilla Renderer. So just in case you haven't seen this, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a link in the description where you can check it out. They are the very same creators of Roomba. And uh, the beautiful thing is you can grab Roomba for free and Roomba is available for Windows and Linux, which makes sense. So some of the very interesting things that you can do with Roomba, just in case you know you have no idea, is you can manipulate the rig intuitively directly on your viewport and you can do some very interesting things that deals with how you play, it's your in-betweens, how you also play with the facial performances. You can store all of this. There's a pretty cool updates to how you can work with the onion skin. You know, very interesting stuff. It's also worth mentioning that the current build of Roomba, which is Roomba 1.1.1, which was just released a couple of, you know, days back, has a lot of cool, nice updates to it. Meanwhile, if you are working with M-Gear or you're working with a setup machine or advanced skeleton, then you're safe because right now Roomba is compatible with these three tools. So, if we go over to the release notes, you would find out that we have a couple of updates that deals with the graph. The breakdown tool now uses a new slider widget, which would help you switch between two different poses and get some good results. There's a snapping tool that is available right now. Pretty awesome. Lots of animators will like this. And like we mentioned earlier, the animation graph editor, which is actually called the curve editor here, now has a set of awesome tools as well. So there is the nudge key. There is also the shear key the default key, mirror key, and breakdown, looking extremely nice. So in the previous, previous iterations of the beta versions, there was an integration of USD. It's very interesting to see that right now you can actually play with display override. So whether you're working with USD, Alembic files, if you have attributes you would like to override directly on your viewport, you can now tweak these things to your liking. Moving further, you can as well push things to a very cool point with the USD variant that also works with this. So depending on what you like to play with, the metadata that comes with the models, you can tweak these things and get some pretty interesting results. Parametric shapes are now part of what you can get with Roomba. There's also a couple of extra things that you can play with. The picker tool is also available. You can create this picker tool yourself. You can modify it, you can save it, and you can use it for every other model that you have coming into Roomba. To me, I kind of think that with the integration of the advanced skeleton that is now available or, you know, that's now compatible with Roomba, I think this is more of an homage to it. So the animators that are familiar with these tools would definitely find a safe ground when working with it. So at this point, you can create yours and you can tweak it and get some very cool improvement. The media set of tools are also here. So in case you want to bring in a video an audio and image sequence for referencing, all these things are things that you can now throw into Roomba and you can start tweaking these things and uh, start making sense out of it. So for those who like to see all of this updates, I'm definitely gonna put a link in the description that can bring you right here where you can check it out. And of course, if you like to get Roomba for both Windows and Linux, you can also come through and uh, check these things out and see it for yourself. And of course, a couple of you guys were asking when we made the last video, how do you transfer your model from Maya over to Roomba. We did make a conversation about it and I mentioned the fact that Roomba has an add-on or a plugin that you need for Maya that actually makes sense. But of course, if you'd like to read more about it, you can go over to this blog that they created that deals with how you can export your rigs from Maya to Roomba. And this explains a lot of things. So from how you get to assign manipulators to how you set up several parts of your model, all the way to you being able to paint certain weights paint setting parts which you can tweak and export this over to Roomba. These things are right here and you might want to come through and check it out. And that's about it. For those who like to see all of this, link to this is going to be in the description. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss next video or the next update. And until I see you guys in the next one, Peace.